Okay, hello and welcome. So today we're going to unbox a Pixel 3a and we're going to do that with the hopes that we'll install graphene on it and, uh, and then we'll have a completely, more or less completely open phone. I mean the hardware won't be open but the, uh, the software will be graphene OS and that is more or less Android but it's been changed so that all Google services are removed from it. So um, I believe it will be a private phone. Now there are some warnings if you want to try this at home so um, uh, be careful that this if this this particular tutorial could get old um, at some point Pixel 3a won't be supported by Graphene OS um, and uh, the expectation is that uh, Graphene OS won't support the Pixel 3a at the same time when Google stops supporting the Pixel 3a so that'll be in about two years and um, two years from now and um, and uh, and so if you're thinking about doing this and it's a year since we've, this video is made uh, it might be possible that graphene su OS supports uh, newer phones and so if you're buying a phone uh, it, it's probably best to get the newest phone that you can uh, because uh, because basically uh, graphene OS developers can't support the hardware uh, if if uh, if Google's not going to support the hardware, so uh, the end of life is going to be whenever uh, Google says it is. So um, <clears throat> so here is what I bought. It's a Pixel 3a. So I bought it a little bit under three hundred dollars. Again on Amazon Prime, and it's important that you get an unlocked uh, Pixel 3a. So I was a little confused about this unlock. It's actually not. Um, a problem. I mean, I'm not sure about iPhones, but with it, with this, it's uh, this is pretty much what you can buy directly from Google, and um, and so the the locked ones that you have to worry about uh, are the ones that are branded specifically for Verizon or um, iOS, and so you wouldn't want to do that. You wouldn't want to uh, get a locked one. You just want to get an unlocked one. So um, so there's uh, two. Of these tabs to pull, so I'm going to pull this one, and uh, there you go. And this this box should just open up. Voila. Okay. Now, and so there's my new Pixel 3a, and there's a little stylus on the side. So I, I thought they I think that's kind of funny. Oh no, it's just what the side of the phone looks like. Never mind. Okay. So here's the Pixel 3a, and then. Um, and, and so there it is. It's in my hand. Okay, great. Wonderful. Now, uh, what else came with this? Well, there's a wire that came that's a micro, or it's, it looks like a, 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 a C connection on one side and a C connection on the other. Okay. And then there's uh, this thing that came, um, which looks like it's a USB on one side. Um, right there. Okay, so we're, we're going to figure out what to do with that. Uh, what else is there? There's uh, this box here. Uh, it's got the little power symbol on it, and you can see that you can plug this in, and um, and then you know power charge up your uh, Pixel 3a, and. Um, and that's all that is in here. Okay. Um, now, one thing I was curious about buying a Pixel 3a with the purposes of a graphene OS is because I want it to actually work for phone calls. So uh, I took the protective cover off of it, and uh, this is what I've got. This is what I'm seeing. And I wanted to do a uh, look around so what what is available and right here on this side of the thing I can see this uh, little thing right there so um, you can see where there's like a where a safety pin or a paper clip can go in that little hole and um, so that's kind of important for me because I uh, I have a Verizon phone and so I believe once I um, set this up for graphene is as soon as I put my SIM card in there, which I can pull out of my old phone, 
I think the number will switch over automatically. So that, that's a pretty big deal. I didn't want to go to the, uh, the uh, phone store and say, hey, could you help me switch my phone over? I think they would do it. It's just sometimes they look at you funny, you know, when you're into funny operating systems. They probably haven't seen it before. Um, there's also two uh, buttons on this side. There's the power button and a volume button. And it uh, looks like there's a, uh, a jack up here that you could plug your headphones into. Uh, there's another little button here. I imagine that would be reset. And uh, your USB-C would be charged at the bottom. And there's a couple holes here. I imagine those are for microphone. Uh, I'm not a cell phone expert, but that's what I've got. And luckily, if all goes well, um, it'll be Graphene OS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video and uh, while I'm not on screen I'm going to update the Pixel 3a. I'm going to update it to the newest version of, graph of uh, Android they have and that's just a good practice that is what I'm hearing and I'm also going to um, make sure Fastboot is installed on my computer. Um, Specifically, I'm going to make sure the quickest, the, the newest uh, fast boot is installed. Um, I know that, uh, I, so I use Linux Mint. Uh, I was playing around with my a Linux Mint computer the other day. It seemed like fast boot came installed automatically. However, um, when I was looking at my graphene install information, it didn't seem that Linux Mint had the correct version of fast boot installed. So um, you want to make sure you want to um, do that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to update the, the Pixel 3a, and I'm going to make sure the correct or the most recent Fastboot is installed on my computer. Now, the reason why I'm installing Fastboot on my computer is because that's going to let me flash uh, the Pixel 3a with uh, basically the uh, image that's uh, going to run the different operating systems. So, so, uh, so uh, we need that software to do that. And I'm not really sure how to do it on other uh, systems. The uh, tutorial I'm following used an Ubuntu uh, system you know, all through the command line, so it's probably similar for my Linux Mint machine. And um, um, I'm really, I'm not quite sure what you would do with Windows, but uh, uh, there are uh, uh, but there are similar, I'm sure there's similar software.